Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from the comfort of my backyard. I want to thank all my supporters this year, my new and my old. I wouldn't be where I'm at without you. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Hi Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your December 25th through December 31st weekly love reading. This is intended to be a love reading, we will see what comes up. Now, this is not a private reading, so it may not resonate. It may resonate just a little bit, or, you know, it may resonate fully. It all depends, okay? Just take what does and leave the rest. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. Focus this camera in once I have the cards laid out. Okay, so it appears that there's some power struggles, okay? There is some power struggles between you and another person. Here we have you, here we have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You know, there could be some power struggles. Somebody wants to be the leader. Somebody wants to be in control, you know, and there's some issues. You know, somebody wants to be, um, have it all their way, okay? It feels like there's a stubborn energy here. Um, maybe somebody didn't turn out to be who you thought they were. Maybe you thought they were a better person than they were. You know, here we have this Empress card. It's reversed though. So, but it is connected to you, which tells me that you know you probably thought somebody was a better person, and they they didn't turn out to be who you thought they were. Maybe they have a victim mentality of some sort. You know, maybe they're they're just woe is me, and it's like what the hell? I, I didn't think you were like that at all. You know, maybe they just it's a poor, poor, pitiful me attitude. Um, you know, and I feel like you are confused about the, some kind of situation. There's some confusion here. You know, uh, <clears throat> this is confusing. You know what I mean? This is confusing. I I don't even know what to think about this person. You know, I thought that they had a lot to offer, but it appears that they don't, okay? Perhaps I really don't want to head in this direction. You know, maybe this uh, this thought that I had was all an illusion anyway, you know? It's like, they're not putting in effort into creating anything with me anyway. I thought they were interested, but it appears that they aren't, you know? They, they want me to do all the work. I mean, it's like they don't want to put in any of the work. They want me to do all the work. And then I'm talking to you when I'm saying me. I'm referencing you. You know, they want me to do all the work. They want me to give all my time and my attention. And they want me to give to them, but they don't want to give to me. I mean, what the hell? We need some kind of, uh, you know, equal ground here. I mean, what the hell is this? It looks like... You know, you're trying to um, indulge this person with gifts and time and, you know, energy, but they're not giving back, okay? And it feels like, you know, it's causing some confusion in your life. It's like, this isn't going to end up with nothing. I'm not going anywhere in this situation, so you may choose to just leave this situation. I'm not going to sit here and defend myself 
to you, you know, it, you know, I see like somebody has their defenses up as well. You know, you have to defend yourself to this person and there's no reason to do that. It's like, you know what, I've, I've done that a lot enough in my life. I'm at a point where I'm not going to defend myself anymore. I, I don't need to. I have faith in who I am. You know, and if this isn't going to go anywhere, then it's not going to go anywhere. I'm not going to stick around in limbo and hang on to something or somebody that doesn't want to commit, that doesn't want to attach. I think you're involved with somebody who, you know, you thought was going to attach, you thought was going to lead somewhere, but they're not really reciprocating. It's like they're kind of keeping things from you, okay, and they're not willing to really take the steps to grow the relationship they're not it feels like um you know you have to really pay attention to the choices that you make with this person because it feels like they're just looking for fun they're looking for somebody to spend money on them but they're not looking for love okay it looks like somebody's looking for gifts and in attention but they're not looking for love okay they're looking for you to spend on them but that's about it okay um, it feels like so you're not listening to your inner guide. You haven't been, but you're starting to. At first, you were probably in awe by this person's beauty. And this is a man or a woman. This person was probably beautiful. And they appeared to be beautiful on the inside, too. And so you were in awe. But it appears that it was a, it was a facade. It was fake. They're really not the kindest person in that you thought they were. Um, I feel like this person is pretty... Um, closed off, uh, you know, closed off via communication. They don't communicate very well. Um, they don't, they don't believe in themselves as much as they should, you know. Um, you know, I feel like that it's the, that you, that this, it didn't turn out the way you had hoped and that there could be a break in regards to a relationship that you thought was going to come to fruition, but this person turned out not to be what you thought they were. Um, and you could be deciding, you know what, I need to, I need to have something that's more balanced out. I need to have a relationship where there's equal give and take, where I'm not giving at all and the other person is at least giving. You know, it's a 50-50 relationship. So I feel like, you know, it's that you guys are about to make the call of, you know, uh, this isn't what I'm looking for. I'm sorry. All right. This isn't going to go nowhere. You you're not putting in effort, so I I can't I can't put in effort either. We do have Taurus here pretty prominent prominently, okay? We do. Taurus, 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 Virgo, Capricorn. So you could be dealing with a Taurus. We also have Sagittarius, we have Aries. Um we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, which is probably you. I think that's who you're dealing with. I think mainly you're dealing with a Taurus. Could be another Earth sign. It really could be any sign. I don't like to say that. Where you were hoped that a relationship was going to grow and it's not turning out the way you had hoped, okay? It's just not. Maybe it was just a sexual thing. It was a sexual partner. Maybe that person figured it was a one-night stand. They were going to go for it. You were looking for more and, you know, lesson learned. Yeah, it didn't turn out to be love. You were hoping. You were hoping. But this person, I think there's like a one-night stand kind of energy here. You know, that is. That this person is not going to give the same amount of anything to the relationship that you were giving. All right? It feels like they were very much about themselves. They weren't thinking about the consequences of their actions. It does feel like a definite, like a one-night stand energy. Like, you know, this. it was just sex. I wasn't interested in anything else, but they may have portrayed that. It feels like they were being dishonest from the get-go, you know, and now it's time for you to open your eyes and say, hey, you know, I, you know, I can't, I'm not going to fight for something if you're not going to fight, if you're not going to, I'm not going to put energy into something that isn't going to put energy into me. You know, it was definitely illusion. It, it wasn't, it wasn't a wise decision to jump into something. Something wasn't done wisely. And because of that, you know, the tower is here to say, you know what? This this wasn't meant to be, but it's actually a blessing in disguise because that wasn't meant to be. This person is only cares about themselves. 
Okay, the person you were dealing with only cares about themselves. All right, and they were just like fake. All right, yeah. Woo! So, you know, the thing is, it was sexual. It was just sex. Somebody was looking for sex. I don't think it was you. I think it was the other person. And, you know, I feel like this person was, wasn't telling you the truth from the beginning. They had no intentions of, of giving to a relationship. And I feel like, you know, with this tower card, it was, it was false from, and the devil right next to it, right from the get-go. It was all just lust, okay, and sexual. And I think you're at the point now where you're like, hell no, I was looking for more than that. I'm not even going to bother with you if that's who you are. Okay, it feels like you are about to um, remove yourself from a situation that didn't turn out for your highest good. Somebody was being dishonest. And I say that because of the justice. And I know I said dishonest before I saw this card, but it's on the bottom of the deck. Somebody was being dishonest and they were only thinking about themselves. They weren't thinking about the impact it was going to have on you. Lack of integrity. You're dealing with a person that doesn't have a lot of integrity. These are advice cards. First card is finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. This person that you are dealing with was looking for gifts from you. They were looking for um, financial gain and sex. There's no love here. They were using you in some way. And it was like a and I do still feel that one night stand energy. Like, yeah, I'll have sex with you if you buy me some gifts. Sorry. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Healing family issues. Heal. It's time for you to heal. Maybe you feel like you need to give because you weren't given to when you were a child. And that's easy. It makes you more vulnerable. And so this person probably saw that. Aha. Start forgiving. Forgive everybody in your life, not just your parents. It's time to accept whatever happened and release it and let it go. Start your healing process so that you aren't as vulnerable, so that you can see the truth of people. Once you start to forgive... Your eyes start to open up more clearly because your vulnerability starts to go away. So anyway, I have to let you go. The plow guy's here and the dog's going to freak. Talk to you later.